struggling to keep this land since 1916. Since we have this land since 1916 and we are struggling to keep it since 1991. We are, as you see here, surrounded by five settlements. And, uh, yeah, five settlements. And this is the only hill that is under Palestinian control. So we've been facing a lot of difficulties between 1991 and 2002, but we did not give up and we did not respond with uh, violence, with resignation or giving up and leaving, but we responded with a non-violent way of action, which is under the title, We Refuse to Be Enemies. And there's no telling who that is naming for the loser now will be later to win For the times they are a-changing Come senators, congressmen, please heed the call Now, uh, the challenge was how to, to develop the land without water, without electricity and without the building permit, it looks impossible. But that is impossible. For electricity, we have a solar power system. Yeah. For water, we are collecting rainwater. And without building permit, we are not allowed to build on the ground. We building under the ground. We started renovating existing caves. And it's a way of non-violent and creative way of action. Because we believe, like with this way of action, you force the other to see you as a human being. And understand, your sons and your daughters are beyond your command. Your old road is rapidly aging. Please get out of the new one. And the idea of the Tenet is to invest our frustration in a positive way. Because our frustration is an energy. You know, when we are angry, you, are, you act normally in a negative way. But we are learning how to channel this pain to be in a positive way. The line it is drawn, the curse it is cast. The slow one now will later be fast as the present uh, now say, okay, will if you want to, to have a place for the Tenet Nations, we need to develop it. What are the goals? And one of the goals is, of course, to protect the land from the danger of confiscation. Secondly, as I said before, we want to invest our frustration in a positive way. Thirdly, to make this place as a place for people to come and see. Because the best way of education, come and see and go and tell. And it's a way also to bring people together. And that's why it's important mm -hmm. to bring people together, to build bridges of understanding, of reconciliation and peace. And now we are doing different kinds of activities. We are developing the area. Always, we are, as you, as you saw that, we are working on developing a new campsite. doing a tree planting project between January and March. Palestinian kids from Bethlehem area in creative workshops like painting, mosaic, music, theater. We have a women project in the village and we have also other camps like the, the almond harvest, the grape harvest, the olive harvest. And with those kinds of activities like learning by doing, we bring people together. They can do some work together here do field trips and in the evening come together to learn from each other. That, you know, the best thing to do is not to sit down and cry and be a victim, you know, which might be the case by many. We say no, we have to stand up and raise our voices and start acting.
our long term vision is to establish a, a school here, a vocational training center focusing on alternative energy and organic farming. And at the end, yeah, the work will continue in small steps.